This is killing me. Washington Post. I, I talked about this hat yesterday and how Realtree, I explained the licensing and how Realtree does not support Harris Walls, Harry Walls. And Washington Post goes, Minnesota Governor Tim Walls just posted a photo of himself wearing the just released Harry Walls camo hat. In quotations. They're like, ooh, camo. It's a novelty. The sold out back ordered campaign merch is a send up of a what? It's a send up of Minnesota Governor's trademark Midwestern dad fashion, giving MAGA a run for its money. Whose grandma wrote this? Look, he's an old man wearing a hat. That must be some send up trademark Midwestern dad fashion. Can you get any more word salad in there, you damn dreaded Zoomer? It's a send up of the Minnesota governor's trademark Midwestern dad fashion. What? He's cosplaying. I mean, it, good grief. This is so stupid. That's all they have. That's all they have is the hat. So, I don't know, man. They're like, they're cosplaying as regular everyday people. This is what I think is so funny. Nobody can afford a damn thing, but they're selling $40 camo hats. Guys, show us that you're a Midwestern, show us your Midwestern dad fashion by purchasing in a time of great inflation where butter's like $8 and a dozen eggs or seven, a $40 Midwestern dad hat. It's just a ball cap. You dumbasses. Have they never seen a ball cap before? This old man puts a ball cap on his head and they're like, quick, how can we make this niche? It's Midwestern dad fashion. Have you ever been to the Midwest? The people writing about this, they never been to the Midwest. Oh my gosh. Can't deal with it. All right, so some of the other stuff. I got a lot to think. Ugh. I got a lot here. Uh, first up, let's, um, mm -mm -mm. because, you know, Biden's still in office, right? You guys know this, right? He's still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, he's, he's, doing the, he's doing the big stuff. He's focusing on some very important problems right now. Important problems that are roiling the nation. And that is plastic cutlery. In a bid to save the world, the Biden administration has announced a plan to target plastic cutlery across federal departments. They're taking aim at the climate crisis. It's an all-hands-on-deck response. So, China dumps, like, actual garbage and turds into the ocean. Nobody says anything to them. Chemicals, they make their lakes pink and toxic. They do all that. They don't care. And the United States is, well, I guess we should get rid of our plastic cutlery. That's going to save the world. That's the Biden administration's approach to this. You have to, you have to drink out of a straw that literally dissolves in your mouth and in your drink. So China can dump chemicals in the ocean. I know, by the way, sidebar, is that not the worst thing ever? When I get my cup and if there is a paper straw in it, I want to throw the whole cup at, I want to throw it. It takes everything I have. I want to throw it. It makes me so, it's so, and there's dyes on that damn straw. Have you noticed? And it's always those stripey, stripey straws. That's dye. That's dye that's going in your drink because it's a stupid paper straw. I can't even make words. It makes me so angry. I have, uh, I have, uh, what is it? Cornstarch straw. I would buy plastic, but they don't make them in these fun colors like this that I can get on Amazon. So it's just, I didn't mean to be good to the earth. I just don't, come on, I just The cool it. thing about those is they eventually do dissolve, but I've left one in a drink just to see how long it would take for it to dissolve. And after like two or three days, it still was a straw. Yeah, it's a straw. So mm -hmm. it, I don't know why people don't do that. It was so right? easy for me to do. And they, they go for those fashion striped straws. I hate those stupid things. Because you know that's like toxic dye on those dumb things too. And it's all, you're drinking it, you're consuming it. It's so dumb. Anyway, so yeah, that's what he's doing. He's going to reduce the sale of single-use plastic products on public lands. Well, what are you supposed to eat with? Well, if, you, if you go to like a museum or something, you go to their little sit-in cafeteria at a park on public land, 
You think they're going to be going out and buying stuff? No, it's good. You know what it's going to be like? What's that place? Medieval times. It's going to be like medieval oh, yeah. times. And no you got to go in there. just going to give you turkey legs. You're going to have to gnaw at everything with your hands. That's what they're going to do. Can I tell you a story about that, by the way? I legit just heard thunder right I now. Know. And my the are hell coming. is going on in Texas? Are your windows down? They are. Look at us. We're like, Kane, do you need to go roll your windows up? <laughs> so you've been in medieval times, right? That's like oh, yeah. the... The castle where, you know, you, if you're by medieval times and you've never gone, when we, there wasn't any in Missouri. So when we moved here to Texas, we had, we went twice. You had to go. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going pre- to, I, I always, my husband was like, that's kind of bougie, Dana, because I brought literally plastic cutlery with me. I've seen people do that. Okay. My husband was like, why are you doing that? It's because I, we evolved and invented this stuff. That's what, that's why I'm doing it. Look at this. We don't eat with our feet and hands anymore because we evolved as a species. That's why I'm bringing it in. I'm improving my chopstick skills. I brought wet ones and everything. I'm like, I could sit here and just eat this stuff with my hands, scooping up some taters or whatever, um, but I ain't doing it, you know? I'm not going to do it. Clean my hands off of my jeans. Yeah, they're, they're like, ba- yeah, well, All they basically bougie. send someone to lick your hands off. With your napkins. It's, they don't do that, but yeah, it's just so bad. So I was just like, nope, I'm going to take care of my business because I came prepared. <laughs> My husband could not believe, he looked at me and he was like, I'm watching you open like the equivalent of a quick mart here at medieval times. It's like, no, no, no. There's certain things that I don't do. And it's not because I'm being bougie or anything like that. Like, I love the outdoors and I love rocks. And I mean, it's like I got to eat dirt or something to like convince people that I love nature. I love nature. What would he do? It's great. I love being outdoors. But you know what? I also don't like pretending to be homeless. And that's why I don't camp. Because we, as humans, invented the house, and as a, as a result, we stay in them, right? Just like we, as humans, invented cutlery. And so I will use that. I am not going to throw away generations of achievements of our ancestors by saying, no, I don't want your house or your cutlery. I'm going to pretend to be without. I'm not doing that. I'm just not going to do it. Sorry. We invented tents first. Yeah. But then we invented the house. Mm -hmm. It's like saying, let's go back to the Flintstone cars. Let's pretend for a little bit. Nope, that's okay. I'm good. I'm all right. Anyway, Biden. Brontosaurus ribs, though. Yeah. Well, (laughs) Biden's, he's going to solve all the world's problems because he's going to go after the plastic forks. Yeah, we'll fork you. It's not going to do anything. Not going to do nothing. I mean, basically, isn't it going to just raise costs on people? It's going to be like military bases and government workplaces. So instead of maybe, here's the thought, instead of trying to reduce the use of plastic cutlery, here's the, maybe reduce the size of the federal government. What? That sounds like a great idea. You know, if you have fewer people in government you have fewer people using the plastic cutlery oh <gasps> what i know amazing is it not so uh that's what he's been that's what he's been focusing on if you in case you want to where joe biden was 